everyone and welcome to Making the Best of It! This is a daily video series to help you make the most of the time that you have at home. I am even more excited than usual to share today's activity with you all. Mostly because I honestly didn't think that this activity was going to work until after I tried it. We are going to be making bubbles that bounce. and then hold it in your hand and bounce it around. It is super cool and I can't wait for you to try it. Special shout out to my mom who suggested this activity. If you have an activity that you want to try, send me a message and maybe we'll try it. You only need three super easy to find ingredients in order to make your bouncing bubbles. The first is water, then sugar, then dish soap. So we'll need a quarter cup of water, an eighth of a cup of sugar, you can also use two tablespoons of sugar, and finally, one tablespoon of soap. Now, if you are using tablespoons to measure your other ingredients, make sure that you measure out the soap last so that you don't accidentally get soap in your sugar container. Okay, so let's take our water and add it into our bowl. Then we can take our sugar Add in the sugar, and finally, to get this dish soap out, I'm going to use a little spatula and kind of scrape it out. So you should get a mixture that looks a little something like this, and you can see right now these things aren't really mixed, so I'm going to kind of go and start mixing them all. And as I do this, I'm going to tell you a little bit about the science of what is going on here. So the first thing that you should know is that you can make regular bubbles just by using some dish soap. So if you're ever washing dishes, you can kind of make a little circle out of your fingers and blow through that and make some bubbles. Um, but we are adding in some sugar because that helps slow down the water evaporation in the bubbles so the bubbles last longer. Now, to make our bubbles bounce, we are going to have to put on a glove. And the reason for that is because the oils on our hands can make it so that the bubbles pop. So this mixture looks pretty good to me. So all the sugar is dissolved. There's no lumps or bumps. Um, none of the blue is like streaked because it's not mixed in. I've also been told that Dawn dish soap tends to work really well. So again, if you try this with a different dish soap and it's not really working, um, go ahead and get some Dawn. Once your mixture looks all good to go, your next step is going to be finding a glove and something to make bubbles with. Now this is just a normal kind of winter glove. It's actually a liner glove. It's fleece. Um, and this is to provide a barrier between your hand that you're going to bounce the bubbles on and the bubble. That way the oils from your skin don't make it pop. Next you're going to need some kind of bubble wand. If you don't have a bubble wand, that is completely okay. I'm going to show you a couple of ways to deal with that. The first way is to use a pipe cleaner. Um, now if you have an arts and crafts pipe cleaner, that will absolutely work. Just fold it so there's a little circle at the top, um, and then you can use that as a bubble wand. I don't actually have any arts and crafts pipe cleaners, but what I do have are some actual pipe cleaners for cleaning the straw on my Camelback water bottle. So we're going to try one of these and see if it can make bubbles. So I'm going to take one of these out. And see, the reason that I would say use an arts and crafts one if you can is this actually has a fairly small area with bristles, so it might be a little bit tricky, but I'm going to see if I can kind of turn this into a circle. It might be a little bit of a small circle. We will see how this goes, just like always. All right seems like a decent enough circle. I wonder if it's going to make any bubbles. So I'm going to take my little spatula out of the way because we're done mixing. And let's dip this in here. We want to make sure we get it fully coated. Oh yeah, look. I don't know if you guys can see, but in here there is, you can, there's like the film of the bubble goes all the way across. And let's try to blow a bubble. 
there's a bubble. So, yeah, this does seem to work decently well. So you can do this even if you um, don't get the pipe cleaner part to go all the way around. Um, the wire seems to work just fine. You can even do this with string. Now, if you are totally out of supplies or just way too impatient to do this part, um, what you can actually do is just use your hand. Remember at the beginning I said you can make soap bubbles just out of like dishwashing soap on your hands? So what you want to do is, because we know that bubbles pop on your skin oils, you want to kind of get your hand all soapy. And I would do this near a sink so you can uh, drip anywhere that you need to. And then you make this shape with your hand. So now do you see how I have that film right there? That is essentially working just like the wand part of a bubble wand. Um, and the way that you get that is, do you see how I start with my thumb touching and then I kind of slowly drag it out? Because if I just go like this, I might not get that film. So you kind of roll it over and there we have our film. This way is a little bit harder to get those good bubbles. And you really want to make sure your whole hand is covered so there's nothing for the bubbles to get stuck on. So it's definitely, oh, and the other trick is um, as you blow, um, once it's a good size, you can close your fingers to kind of end the bubble. There we go, that was what I was missing. So now I have this big bubble. Once you have your bubble solution all mixed, the next step is to put your glove on and start bouncing. Now, the glove that I chose didn't work super great, so I decided to try a sock instead, and the sock actually works pretty well. So I'm going to show you what this looks like when it's working. same spot. I've been rotating my sock around my hand to make it so that the bubbles keep bouncing. 